This Use Update is brought to you by... It's the most wonderful time to stay connected with Flow. Get great deals on prepaid and postpaid plans. Get double the talk, double the text, and double the data when you activate a prepaid or postpaid combo plan, sizes medium and up. All this plus $50,000 to be won from Flow this wonderful Christmas. Visit us in-store today. It's Wednesday, December 21, and time for the Barbados Today Morning Update. I'm Fenella Wedderburn. Thanks for joining us. The cherry on top of the ice cream. That's how a shop steward is describing Monday's agreement between the National Union of Public Workers and the management at Grantley Adams International Airport, Inc. Barbados Today broke the news of the much-anticipated pay deal, which guarantees some 400 members of the NUPW's airport division a 7% pay increase over three years. However, it looks like airport workers who are to start receiving their back pay as early as this week are also in line for a second wage hike with public service salary negotiations set to begin in earnest at the start of the new year. Now, a delighted NUPW president, Akani McDowell, said the union really couldn't have asked for more. What we would have argued from the beginning is that the salary increase that the airport workers should receive should be based on the profits that the airport would have made. And don't forget that the airport workers are already receiving a salary increase from 2011. It might seem like a lot, but if you look go back to um, 2011 and come all the way up to 2017, once you divide the percentage that we were originally um, asking for, which is 16%, mm -hmm. by those number of years, you would realize that the percentage isn't really that that I'm big, mm -hmm. once you look at it over a number of years. We are claiming a resounding victory in relation to this matter. Mm -hmm. We could not have hoped for a better company. Businesses are still experiencing delays in clearing goods at customs. Bobby the City understands that a number of businesses have reportedly been impacted and it's creating a ripple effect, including interruptions in payment to suppliers. President of the Barbados Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Eddie Abed, says the situation is as a result of inefficiencies at customs. We have found that historically the port has had its issues in terms of delivering cargo on an efficient and consistent basis. So absolutely, this time of year, the problem is magnified. So I'm fully aware that there are problems. The, the solutions have been spoken about many, many times. Okay. And it's a question now for the port to start implementing their, their measures to correct it because this is extremely frustrating for the importers, whether, as I say, it's um, individuals or business houses. We need to be able to get our goods on a timely basis. In other news this Wednesday, the living conditions of a former Barbadian boxing champion have caught the attention of the National Assistance Board. Hilbert Baby Osborne has been living in a shed without a roof in the back of a house at Grezitz, St. Michael. His conditions have been most upsetting to neighbors and those familiar with the pride in which he carried the country's flag. Glenfield Cadogan is one of his neighbors who spoke to Barbados today about the situation. We are only all about ourselves. Mm -hmm. Once we can get it, we can nothing but nobody else. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I don't really got Christmas spirit, but I mean, that would be the best gift we could get for Christmas if we could not see him there mm -hmm. on Christmas Day. That would be my Christmas gift. Meantime, NAB Chairman Reverend David Durant is promising to do all he can to have the senior citizen removed from his current location. Uh, this is Mr. Hilbert Osborne here in this condition. He is living out in the backyard. This house here, as you see, is closed up from him entering. So he's just up here in the backyard under a shed. Then rain falls, he's soaked. If rain falls in the night, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, he is wet in his bed. That can bring on pneumonia, bronchitis. They can get this gentleman sick. I want him moved from here. I, of course, notify the National Assistance Board, who is working on the case with his son. Um, who has not responded positively as yet, you know, so we will continue to work to get Mr. Osborne away from here.
to get him into a safe quarters where at least he can sleep at night without getting wet or even in the day. Also where he can be fed. She lost her New Orleans St. Michael home to fire on June 24 this year. Now all Diana Stewart wants is a home for the holidays and for her family to be back together. Since the fire, the family has been separated, living with various relatives. Stewart spoke with Bobby this today about the situation. This happened in June, 24 for June. And this is about six so months. Christmas Eve will be six months then? Yeah, Christmas Eve will be six months. So you would like a new house? Yeah, I would like, the... yeah, for next year, 2017. Mm -hmm. A new house, good health. Yeah, that my family should be back together. It made me feel sad because all right now, I'd be sick, I'd be stressed out. I suddenly would suffer an anxiety attack. Mm -hmm. And it's trying to care myself. So is a loss in the house is, is a whole sort of pressure upon your body. Mm -hmm. and you know people will say you got your life and thing, but it's a hard thing to experience. In sports, Jamaica Scorpions are on top of the standings in the regional 40 championship at the Christmas break. The team's crushing innings victory over Leeward Island's Hurricanes inside three days last weekend at Warner Park in the fifth round produced a clinical all-round performance to vanquish the host by an innings and 73 runs and leap to 67.6 points. They are narrowly ahead of two-time reigning champions Guyana Jaguars who lie second on 64 Six points. There's regional and international news after this short break. Get ready to celebrate 50 years of independence right through to the best major Christmas ever with a make it happen loan of up to $50,000 from Republic Bank. Give your home a good old Bajan spooser. Buy some new furniture and appliances or take an after holiday trip to visit loved ones over and away. You could also be one of our lucky winners to share in fabulous prizes. Just visit any branch to apply. Go to RepublicBarbados.com or call us at 227-2700. We're also available via Skype and FaceTime. Special conditions apply. Public Bank, we're the one for you. To news from our regional neighbors now, the Guyana government launches a four-year master plan to address illegal drugs in the country. We get more in this report from Royston Drakes of Capital News. Speaking of the launching of the plan, Public Security Minister Kamala Dramdatan said the drug strategy master plan was not focused on reinventing the wheel, but to proceed and strategize what is known to be right and proper and already exists. And so this involves what the experts have talked about so extensively, namely a multi-pronged strategy aimed at, firstly, reducing demand, reducing supply, reducing drug-related harm, providing treatment options, developing a skilled workforce to respond to drug use, cooperate internationally, and then adopting control measures, especially the distribution of pharmaceutical products and monitoring the activities to prevent diversion of those pharmaceutical products. On the international scene, at least 26 people have been killed in an explosion at a fireworks market outside Mexico City. Officials say dozens more were injured as the blast hit the San Pablito fireworks market. The cause of the explosions is not yet known. The details in the CNN report. The video image is simply staggering there from the town of Tultepec, which is, as you mentioned, just north of Mexico City, the capital there in Mexico. This is a, a town that is very well known for a massive...
pyrotechnic uh, industry. Uh, this is a huge market uh, where these kinds of uh, fireworks sales are extremely popular, especially this time of uh, this time of the year, the holiday season uh, season emerging. So, uh, oddly enough, this is not the first time a, a, an explosion like this has actually happened in this market. It happened back in 2005 as, as well. So. Uh, the uh, emergency crews there on the scene trying to uh, comb through uh, all of the evidence and trying to piece together exactly what happened. Uh, no word yet on what caused the explosion, uh, but obviously that many, that much pyrotechnics in, in one place, you can understand why, uh, you know, maybe perhaps one little small explosion just uh, uh, careened into something much worse as we're seeing unfold here in, in Mexico. And on that note, we come to the end of our news and sports update. But for the very latest, visit our website at www.publicistoday.bb. Also, subscribe to our e paper email updates and like us on Facebook. We're also on Izum Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you, as well as Channel 99 on Flow TV and Mix 96.9 FM. I'm Fernella Wedderburn. To have a wonderful Wednesday.